Hey y'all, what's up? My name is Sonali. Welcome to a new weekly vlog. Technically, this week is gonna be a little bit shorter because it was Memorial Day and I took the Monday off just because there was really nothing going on. Um, but I wanted to start the morning off by making matcha and I want to try a new recipe. I went to this one matcha place in Austin last week and they put coconut water in their matcha and it tasted so good and I wanted to try to make it at home to see if it could come remotely close especially because they have some wonky hours so if I like wanted their matcha one day and they weren't open I'd be really sad so I want to try to make it at home. Um, I don't have like all the ingredients because I know they have that blue magic powder in theirs but I don't think that makes it taste any different. I think it just like you know changes the color i'll be honest i'm a little rusty at matcha making especially at home i haven't done it in so long but i'm hoping this recipe will get me back into it so let's do it here's the matcha powder i'm going with today i think my friend sarah gave it to me but i never know how much powder i should put in because i remember the last time i made matcha it was actually so gross and i like matcha like i have the taste for it i usually order it at you know coffee shops but i think i put a little too much matcha powder so Actually, first, let's put some hot water in here. I think I'm just gonna do like half of this spoon. Okay, so now I don't have the cool little matcha, what's it called, blender. So I'm just gonna use this whisk. This is the glass of choice today. You guys know I'm obsessed with like my really funky glassware. This is from Amazon. I can link it below. And I also have a whole like folder on my Amazon storefront called Unique Glassware and there's so many cute freaking cups over there. So if you guys are like me and you love some funky shapes, definitely go check that out. But I tried to whisk it to the best of my ability. I don't know like the order of what I need to put in there. But let's just get my coconut water out and my oat milk. All right, so let's put in the matcha first. There we go, okay. Matcha is in. Next up, we'll do coconut water. I'm really hoping I can perfect this at home because that would be so nice. Mm, yum, okay. I don't know how much I need to put in, but we're just gonna eye it. The matcha is like pretty dark. I feel like whenever I see other people make it, it's a lot brighter and lighter, but it says it's like, yeah, you can make smoothies with it. So I'm guessing you can make, yeah, or the classic latte, so. Whatever, we'll see. Okay, next up, oh, oh. Well. And usually coconut water has a sweetness to it, so I'm hoping I don't need to use too much more sweetener. All right, I'm gonna leave some space at the top in case we need anything else, like more coconut water or something else. It looks good. Pray for me all, I'm going in for the taste test. Could use ice. I think it just needs more sweetness. So if I could get more sweetness in there, which I do have simple syrup. Ooh, you know what? Maybe I'll try agave. Hopefully this does the trick. I'm just trying to make it taste like that really good match I had, but I wonder if they put just regular simple syrup in it. It's like all at the bottom now. <laughs> okay, that's already so much better. It honestly just needs a little bit more sweetness and then I can add ice once I drink it down. Okay, not too shabby, not too shabby. We're gonna work on this together. And once I perfect it, I'm gonna come back and show you guys the perfected recipe. Maybe when I get like a little matcha whisk. If you guys watched my last week in my life, you guys saw that I got the Apple iPad keyboard thing and I wanted to get this for mainly emails, but also to do like Notion and stuff. Um, if you guys don't know what that is, it's pretty much like a note-taking app. Me and my assistant Anna have been working on just organizing my life a little bit more in Notion. So I'm trying to download it, but it says I need to install an update. <laughs> so just doing that now. Click to install. And then I do need to edit a video today, but I feel like I have my makeup on and everything and I want to like actually um, film some TikToks almost done with my matcha i think the agave definitely definitely made a difference it's currently six o'clock and i just filmed a tiktok and i really hate to admit but that took me way longer than i expected because it was like an outfit one and i wanted to like style some like outfits together and so you know obviously 
pulling the outfits and then changing into the outfits and now I have a big mess waiting for me to clean it up beautiful that's why I was like literally pushing off this specific TikTok but I got her done and I decided to film it on my camera today because I was filming it on my iPhone and I noticed that it was like kind of like grainy you know how you like see like the spectacles kind of like coming alive I don't know how to explain it but I was like okay the lighting is just like not the best so I pulled out my light over there and then I was just like let's just film it on my camera because I have it so might as well use it um and so went well now i just have to edit it and i tried to like change my hair for all the frames just to make it look a little bit more interesting i feel like my hair is getting so long and i'm like so happy about it because i wanted to have long hair for the summer Hey y'all, it's Wednesday. It's actually mid-afternoon. I had a grad shoot this morning. It was actually at St. Edward and I've never shot there before. It was a pretty small campus compared to UT, um, but it was also super freaking humid outside. Like it wasn't even that hot, but just like so like gross and like wet feeling outside. Um, and I also worked out before that. Came home, did the smoothie. I also made myself toast and then I have been editing my um, Memorial Day weekend vlog, so hopefully that can go up today. And now I'm just filming some TikToks, but I'm gonna do an Amazon TikTok first. And I wanted to share um, what some of the pieces look like on my body because I think pretty much all of them I actually unboxed in, I wanna say like the last weekend vlog or the last week of my life, but basically I didn't try them on. So I thought I could do like a little try on sesh with you guys. First up is this tube top, which I feel like I've definitely tried on in one of the weekend vlogs because I think I was wearing it out, but I swear I can't get enough of this. I feel like this is gonna be like my Amazon top of the summer. In the spring, it was like that long sleeve green top. And then last summer, I remember I wore, what shirt was it? I can't remember now, but I remember always gravitating towards like a certain Amazon tank top, so it's kind of just like a cycle, I guess, but this is it on. I got a size large. I definitely probably should have gotten a medium just because it does have some extra space, especially if you're going to go out in it. I did have to kind of pull it up every once in a while, but it definitely wasn't horrible. I mean, it still fits like a charm, um, and it's not a bodysuit. It's just a tank or a tube top, so I just like tucked it in. Next up are these Bottega Veneta dupes, and they kind of have this like net material on the shoes, which is perfect because I don't have my toes done. And yeah, they're really cool, super unique looking, but also like very neutral. I'm trying to like show you guys the way I tied it. Next up, we have this beautiful flowy jumpsuit. Look how flowy it is, I love it. And you guys know I love the color. It's just very flattering, I feel like. Makes me look very slim, very tall, even though I'm just 5'3". I am pretty sure I got a large in this, and all of this will also be linked on my Amazon storefront, so definitely go check it out. I'll link it in the description. Um, but the quality on this is really good because they have adjustable straps in the back, and then also, I like this texture in the back. It's kind of like that ruching material, and it just feels really comfortable. Last thing are these shorts, and they remind me of the Chino shorts from J. Crew. I literally like begged my mom to get some for sorority recruitment. And I got like one pair and I was so happy. But these ones are a little bit thinner, definitely more lightweight, so perfect for summer. Um, I'm pretty sure I got a size large in these as well. Just got off FaceTime with my friend Laura. She was my roommate at UCF in college for like two years. And we always have this like catch up session that goes like so long. And we're always trying to plan a trip and I'm just hoping it happens one day. And I know it will this year it's gonna be this year i actually just purchased this from amazon um one of my friends from college actually kaylin she like snapchatted us one day and she was like should i get the cloud perfume from ariana grande i'm like i don't i don't know and then like literally maybe a couple days after that 
I don't know who it was, but somebody walked by me and I was like, oh, what perfume are you wearing? Because it like smelled really good. They said this one and I was like, interesting. And then I saw a TikTok the other day of someone saying it's like their favorite scent ever and that they get so many compliments on it. And I was like, okay, honestly, I think it's time <laughs> to make a little purchase. So I got this and honestly, I'm not a big perfume girl. I have like a roll-on scent that I got at Sephora one time, but I never really remember to put it on. Okay, honestly, the packaging is like a little bit cheesy. I'm not gonna lie. I'm not a fan of the packaging, but let's see if I still really like the scent. Cause sometimes like the scent is something different on you rather than another person. So I'm hoping it smells just the same and I hope I like it. Okay, I like it, but it's definitely not a me scent. Like, it has a hint of a grandma scent, and I, that's just not me, but, oh, okay, that's better. This is just like a holder, I guess. Okay, that's a lot better without this thing. I mean, it's still kind of cool, but yeah, so the scent is not me. I'm gonna see if Ryan likes it when he comes home, because I'll be interested to see what his reaction is. I usually go for like a citrusy, what's it called? Not musty, musky maybe scent, which this is more of like, this is definitely sweeter and, and it does have like a musky smell. So maybe that's why I like it, but it's good. It's just a little hint of a grandma. And maybe this perfume will actually stay on me because I feel like perfumes, I'll spray it and then I can't smell it and I'm just like, what's the point of perfume? Opening up some jewelry from Goryana now. This is my all time favorite jewelry brand. I have all my Goryana bracelets, my earrings. Most of the time, all my necklaces are from Goryana. Um, and we work together pretty much every month, I'd say. Not every single month, but I love their jewelry. Okay, so this is a little ring. It's super basic, but I thought it was so pretty. It's the Sloan ring and it's just very like one size all around. Also, both of these rings are from Goriana. This kind of has a little bit of texture and then this one is definitely more expensive. I actually bought this with my own money. They have, I don't know what these stones are, definitely not diamonds. Um, okay, let's see which finger I have to put it on because actually all my fingers are really fat and I feel like no one goes up to like a nine these days. Like they're only all eights. And my fingers, like this is definitely a nine right here. I think this one could probably fit it. That doesn't feel horrible. I'm just like worried if like my fingers swell up and then like, what if it gets stuck on my finger? My sister legit had that happen to her and we had to go to the ER when we were little to get it to, <gasps> wait a second, wait. Oh, okay, we're good. I literally thought this perfume had like glitter in it, but then I realized that I literally like put glitter on my, well not glitter, it was like the Dibs Beauty Stick that has like a highlight. We're good, that was scary. I don't like glitter. <laughs> Anyways, so that's the ring and yeah, she had to get it cut off. Very traumatic moment for her and me seeing it being cut off. And then this one is the Lou Link bracelet. And this is what that looks like. So I think I'm gonna put this one on. Wait, what the heck, how do you get it on? Uh, what in the world? <laughs> it's not stretchy. I like can't find a clasp. I feel like I'm going insane. Alrighty, um, it's very interesting. I legit do not see a clasp anywhere on here and it's not like this thing is sliding on my wrist. So very interesting. I'm gonna figure that out because I really wanna wear it. I'm going to Wind Down Wednesday at Wanderlust. It's like their downtown location has happy hour on Wednesdays and I believe the east side location has happy hour on Thursdays, but I'm going to downtown because it's currently Wednesday and half off tap wine and it's really cool. They had this thing in Orlando too. It's called the wine room where you just like kind of like went up to each tap and you could like try as much as you want. Obviously you have to like pay for it how much ever you get. It kind of like tracks it on a card. Super cool concept. So I'm really excited to go back tonight um, and meet some new people because I'm going with a couple new girls. So that shall be fun. 
and then when I come back I want to like chill out and relax and do nothing um, yeah that just sounds really nice Happy Thursday. It is later in the day because this morning was pretty hectic. I got up at like 6.30 because I had my official last grad shoot at 7 a.m. this morning. And when I say official, I feel like I've been telling you guys that I'm like done with grad season and technically I was at UT, but I had two grad shoots in June that just were like not at UT. So yesterday's was St. Edwards. Then today's grad was graduating from Concordia nursing program. So she wanted to just do it downtown. Now I'm officially done with grad season <laughs> and I won't mention it again. Okay. Until next year or like literally November, I think. <laughs> After my grad shoot, I met up with my friend Andy for a little coffee date. And whenever I say coffee, I mean matcha or chai because I don't really drink coffee depending on like where I go, I guess. So we went to Merit and they actually had this strawberry matcha drink, which was so yummy. I was kind of like surprised because I thought like Merit was more of like a coffee shop. Like they wouldn't have that many like different kind of drinks that weren't coffee. So I was shocked by that, but very, very happy. And then I got my nails done because also another update is that I did buy a gel machine at home and I really, really wanted it to work out and I really tried my hardest like, you know, painting my own nails, but they were just so bumpy and I'm not gonna lie, they like kind of were making me annoyed and I was just like, I just need to get my nails done and it's like almost worth the investment for me to get my nails done. So I think I just kind of came to that conclusion that doing the gel nails at home may not be for me, but I'm not going to knock press-ons because I still love press-ons, especially the Olive and June ones, but I haven't done press-ons in a while um, just because I kind of want my nails to be like gel or like dip. I think I'm going to get dip the next time, but I went to get my nails done because my toes have not been done for like a week and I could not go another day without getting my toes done because like literally yesterday when I was picking out my outfit, I just had to wear closed toed shoes and I didn't really have that many cute closed toed shoes to wear. So I was like, okay, need to get my nails done. Then I came home, I showered, and we actually just went to Specs to get some more tequila for tonight. So tonight is first Thursdays, which I've never been to one. I've always heard about it. I've always seen it on social media, but I think it's at South Congress Hotel. It's basically like a little party every first Thursday of the month um and I kind of compare it no I, I don't even know if this would be a good comparison but like in my hometown Roswell Georgia they do like an a live after five in historic Roswell so like you know the whole like city comes out and just like has a lot of vendors and stuff like that I'm not really sure if that's gonna be how this is because I think this is more of like a party party so I'm very excited for tonight because all my friends are gonna be together and I feel like we haven't been together in a group in a while here is the life update I decided to stay in my apartment because there are so many factors, honestly. So a couple of the reasons why I'm staying in my apartment is because I tried looking at other places and they're either ugly, super small, still really expensive, not even that much closer to the city. Like there was just so many reasons that I I should just stay here. We also didn't want to like change my address on a ton of forms that I have for like my business and stuff. And I personally think like if I would have like moved somewhere else or I don't want to say downgrade in my lifestyle, but like that's kind of how I felt. I really believe in manifesting in the abundance mindset. So if I pretty much downgraded my lifestyle, I feel like I wouldn't get, I don't know how to say this. I feel like I wouldn't grow. It's so hard to explain. It's so hard. It's so weird. But basically what I'm saying is I really do want to stay here. I love living here. I painted the walls white and I'm really thankful that I can't afford it even though I don't want to pay that much for rent. Um, so yeah, we're staying here and that is that. So I'm really happy about it. I literally just signed the lease and I just got a text from the person who made my headboard. We got our headboard custom made. I'll put like a video or a picture here. It was this beautiful hair and bone um, headboard. I saw like a bunch of pictures online and I didn't know where to buy it. And I thought maybe it'd be more affordable to have someone make it for us. So I reached out to this guy again to see if he could make me some shelves for this office to put like literally right behind my head. I think I reached out to him like a week or two ago and he just said that they're done. I ordered the brackets and these shelves are not cheap and holy shit, like I don't even, I don't, I don't know. Like I want a house so bad, but like I can't even imagine what everything costs like 
if I wanted to do renovations if these shelves were like not very cheap you know what I mean like okay these are just like wooden pieces I mean it's probably like beautiful and he probably did a really good job and I know this guy takes his time because our headboard is like literally stunning but if these shelves are expensive I can't imagine what like tearing down a whole wall or like redoing the whole kitchen would cost like it's mind-blowing so I am kind of happy I'm living in an apartment for a little bit longer just so I could like not have to think about that kind of stuff um but anyways he is gonna come over and install them and I'm just like really hoping that they look good so I actually just set up my tripod so that I can like kind of measure where I want the first one to start because in my sit down videos I want it to like show you know and the reason why I'm getting these shelves is because it's almost like an investment for my videos especially my TikToks because I feel like this white wall is just too plain like I really like having a plain white wall but a lot of the time the content that I'm personally attracted to is the ones that like kind of show personality like in the background so like whether that's like a really colorful bedroom or your nice aesthetic picture frames and stuff like that so I just feel like I wanted to show more of that so I am so excited to show you guys what they look like because I personally have not seen them in person so I'm really hoping they turn out good because again was well, not cheap so praying praying that they turn out good I sent him like inspo pictures and everything um, and then I think we went with white oak wood so please God let them be beautiful beautiful shelves and worth my investment um, so yeah, this is not the lens that I usually use, but I thought I could just see what it looks like. I usually put my camera over here and then, but I feel like, like, is that too low to start a shelf, you know? Oh, I didn't think the wall was that far back. Um, no, actually, I don't think that's too low. I have two shelves, so they're like long ass shelves. And I'm a little worried that I made them too long, but hopefully not. And I need to make sure this is where I want my couch. I think it is, but I want, you know, the shelves obviously to be very symmetrical to the couch. Um, so one would go here. And then I want like a good amount of space between the other shelf because I don't know how big like I haven't really bought anything to like style the shelves with so I don't know how much space I need I guess if I needed to do like a bigger vase I could put it on the top one um but I need Ryan's help so he could like mark it for me and then I can like see it but well because these pillows are so big I don't want these to like be blocking like part of the shelf so maybe like up here a little bit I asked him to make the shelves like three inches deep so I'm thinking it's that thick I think guess we'll have to see but I should probably get dressed because I don't I don't even know what I'm wearing <laughs> did my makeup it's very glowy I did like highlighter I feel like I never do highlighter anymore I'm kind of sad because he brought up the shelves and they weren't like the color that I really wanted and I felt really bad telling him that even though like I am paying a lot of money for these shelves and I literally gave him so many inspo pics so like I did kind of want that like raw look so basically he asked what finish I wanted there was like a matte semi gloss gloss whatever I said the matte one and first of all it ended up looking like a lot shinier than it, it I, I thought that matte would look and also it turned it so much darker than the original picture that he sent me so i was like okay i just really just don't like the color like i'm paying so much for this white oak wood and it literally looks like a school bookshelf like i don't know how to describe it other than that um so it just like wasn't the vibe i was going for so i asked if he could just sand it off and just make it look like raw and so he took him back he did put up the brackets though because he had all of his stuff already with him so i was like you can just Put the brackets in the wall um because i don't think sanding them down should take that long hopefully he said they'll be here by saturday because we're leaving on sunday to go out of town so we'll see and i'll give you guys an update i guess in the next vlog whenever um they come i know it'll be worth the wait i'm so excited to like style them and now that's like the next thing i have to do i think i'm gonna just buy a lot of stuff from probably either amazon or like cb2 i love cb2 like trinkets and stuff they're so expensive but I mean they're really good quality so i'm just gonna look and see what i can find but now 
it is time to party. <laughs> I sound so stupid saying that, but it is 5.52. I think I'm meeting my friends at 6.30 slash probably leaving our house is like 6.30. Um, and I have no idea what to wear. I want to dress cool. I don't want to be basic, but like wash my outfit, be super basic, whatever. I got these Toba Chico Margarita hard seltzers. They're like the new ones. They're just like margarita flavors. And I wanted to do a, a taste test with all of them. Do you want to do it with me, Ryan? A little taste test. There are four flavors in here. There's a signature margarita. We have strawberry hibiscus, tropical pineapple, and then prickly pear. I feel like this is such a trendy flavor slash trendy scent. And I don't even know what the fuck a prickly pear is. Like, do we eat these? Like, I don't even know. All right, let's get to taste testing. Oh, I can't do that. Don't want to break a nail. Thank you. Tropical pineapple, prickly pear. Is that classic? Mm-hmm. Classic Marg. I think my favorite is strawberry hibiscus. The pineapple one tasted like a regular Topo Chico seltzer. Did you agree with that? Yeah, it's pretty like very fam fam familiar. Talk. Already drunk after a four sip. <laughs> um, which one do you like the best? I think the first one I tried. Yeah, this one. All right, this mm. is the winner. Strawberry yeah. hibiscus. Kind of like them in order, actually. Do we try them? Really? Yeah. Here's my outfit of the night. Now my room, my closet, my bathroom is a tornado because when I start to drink, I just want to like throw everything everywhere that I don't want in front of me. I don't even know. I just like make the house a tornado. So great. Got some stuff to clean up. I feel like I'm such a lightweight. Like I think I drank one of those and I'm really feeling it. Like really feeling it. But that's great. So um, also he sanded my shelves already. He said, when can I come back over? Yeah. And he's coming at nine. So I can show you guys in tomorrow's what? No, 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 9 a.m. I can show you guys tomorrow. The shelves, I'm so excited. Okay, first Thursday, here we come. Literally, my first, first Thursday. Okay, I'm gonna stop him. I think I'm drunk. We're at first Thursday, and literally Angela said, are you vlogging? I was like, oh shoot, I forgot to vlog. Hello. 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 Yes, we're and I've been filming some sponsored content this morning and I also got my shelves back. Sanded them down last night and was able to bring them really early this morning. So I am so happy with it. I'm gonna show you guys right after. But first I wanted to do an Amazon unboxing because I purchased some really cute sunglasses. I've actually had a few of these before and I have no idea where they went so I repurchased them. But they're like so cheap that I was like, okay, why not? Some of the other things I'm gonna be unboxing are kind of random, but I saw them and I was like, okay, I need this. So starting off with downy wrinkle release. I just had to see two TikToks about this and I was sold. Steaming is definitely time consuming and annoying. So when I saw this, I was like, okay, I need that. Um, especially for like bedspreads and stuff. There's this one um, girl on TikTok, she does like the cleaning videos and she was the one that posted the video and it was like a wrinkled sheet. She sprayed a little bit, like kind of like stretched it out and they were completely gone. I was kind of like shook by it. So I wanted to try it out for myself. I think that's all that was in there. Okay, next up. I was also influenced to buy this from TikTok and this is an Apple Watch band but it's just like a solo strap. So basically you hook it onto your Apple Watch and you can just slide it onto your hand. 
literally every morning I hate putting my Apple Watch on because you have to like buckle it in and it kind of like irritates my skin. Sometimes it gets itchy so then I have to like redo it while I'm working out. So I thought this was the coolest freaking thing. I don't know why I hadn't seen it sooner but I feel like this is going to change the game and actually make me want to put on my Apple Watch more often. And then I got some sunglasses. Like I said, I got kind of a lot of them. Or I think I only got three, but that's kind of a lot. <laughs> so these are actually ones that I haven't gotten before. I was very intrigued by just the coloring on them. Because they're this tortoise color on the outsides. And this is what they look like on. I love oversized sunglasses. And yeah. I think they're really cute. Okay, so I got those and then I actually got the same pair, but just like a normal pair or a normal colorway, just black and gold. So here is like the original colorway, just black and gold, like I said. Same exact style, just different colorways. And then I got one more pair of sunglasses. These are like my favorite style of sunglasses and I was like so upset when I couldn't find them but that is why I purchased Amazon sunglasses. I swear I wasn't even drunk last week but I misplaced my sunglasses and I've looked everywhere for them and I can't find them so kind of sad but here are these sunglasses. These are a little bit smaller and a lot more rounded and these are kind of like that Ray-Ban dupe sunglasses which are so cute. I think these are like my go-to, my favorite pair of sunglasses for sure. I probably should have gotten two of these to be honest. Like one for my car, one for like everyday outfits, I guess. Well, I guess I'll be, no, one for my car, one for Ryan's car. I feel like that would be smarter. But I'm gonna link all these sunglasses. They'll be on my Amazon storefront, but I'll put direct links if you guys want to check those out. And then this is kind of random. I got like a cuticle cutter because I feel like I'm just getting random hangnails and I cannot find mine, so I thought I would just Amazon Prime it. Amazon's just a little too easy these days. <laughs> but anyways, I'll link everything again on my storefront, and there's so many good like summer pieces that I just added to my storefront in like the swim and summer section. So definitely be sure to check that out, especially if you're like going on vacation soon, which I am, and I need to start ordering clothes. Like I was thinking of doing a shop with me video. I don't know if you guys would be interested in that. Um, my style has definitely changed over the past few years. I feel like my price ranges have kind of changed too because now that I have, you know, my own money, I get to spend it however I want. Well, I, I always kind of like had a job. Adult money is definitely different than just having like a part-time job in college. So anyways, I have some editing to do. I filmed a lot this morning and now I'm going to put it all together and also make some edits on another sponsored TikTok that I had submitted. Um, they just like sent me the edits and so I want to get that done and ready to go. And then I actually just made a reservation at Joy in the Domain. I don't think I was vlogging this day when we tried it out for the first time, but it was a really good sushi restaurant. Um, again, it's Joy, J-O-I. And so we're going to go back there because, you know, you guys know I'm always craving sushi. I'm never going to say no to it. I got a lot of editing done, but there's just so much to do. I feel like I need to pack today because we're celebrating one of my friend's birthdays tomorrow and I'm doing a photo shoot in the morning and we might be celebrating her birthday in the evening too, but it's okay. I'm trying to stay calm because I got my shelves. Look how stunning they are. Like this is going to make such a big difference in my room and just like the background for my videos, my TikToks, and you can even see them in like the mirror for outfit of the days. I feel like this is going to be a game changer once I figure out how to style these. Um, so I want to be kind of like transparent with how much they cost. Um, I think I paid, they were a thousand dollars and I always thought like going to an independent person, um, just like freelance kind of thing would charge less, but, and, and I know he probably did, um, but the materials, you know, they, they definitely cost some money because I went with white wood. He showed me like maple and white, or not white wood, white oak. And I was like, okay, if I'm gonna, you know, get these shelves made, let's go all out. So I got white oak and yesterday, like I said, he put it like a matte finish on it and it turned out to be really glossy and a 
a lot darker than what this looks like. It was not even near this color. Like, I swear, it was just... It, it looks like two completely different shelves in different woods. And so I asked him to sand him down and he did. And this is exactly what I wanted. I'm so happy. It like matches pretty much all the wood in my room. And it's just gonna look so good. I just, again, need to figure out how to sell them. So I think I'm gonna take a picture and like when I'm home, maybe go through Amazon and kind of like Photoshop it to see what like looks good. Um, but if you guys have any tips for styling shelves, let me know because I'm gonna need them. Let me show you some close-ups at the shelves. Please don't mind my dying plant. I just kind of put it there to see what it would look like. Um, but this is what the wood looks like up close. It is so freaking pretty. He said that because he sanded, you know, the finish off, it might stain or like get dirty. But he said you could just like sand it off. I'm really happy with how they turned out. And basically how I justified the price is that I know these shelves could be brought to any other house, any other apartment that I ever go to. And they definitely have like a more classic look. So even though they are like trendy, I also feel like they won't go out of style. Like I said before, we're gonna have a date night. We're gonna get sushi, and this is my outfit of the night. I got this top, I think before I went to Italy, from Abercrombie and & Fitch, and at first I didn't like it, but I think it's like really flattering. I really like it now, so I don't know why I didn't take it with me. But I also have these jean shorts from Topshop. I love A-line shorts, I think that's what they're called, when they like kind of flare out. They're just so flattering and also so comfortable because they're not like hugging you. Like look how much space I have to just wiggle around. And then I have my favorite Dolce Vita shoes at the moment. I have a task for you. Can you figure out how to get this on me? I still have not figured it out. It's a bracelet. Just unclamp it right here. Do you see a clamp? Isn't that what this is right here? No, they all have that. I'm like, I literally don't see a clamp. Wait, what? You see one? Maybe they all do. Yeah, I know. That's what I'm saying. But I can't just slide that on my, my wrist. This one looks suspicious. <laughs> no, it is. Okay. <gasps> it is. <gasps> Ryan, I knew you could figure it out. Just you are a smart cookie. You know that? Thanks. Yay. <laughs> We got home a little bit ago and I've been just pulling outfits because tomorrow I have a shoot. I'm doing some branding minis and we rented our studio space and I have some time to take my own photos, which is really nice because I've been wanting and needing branding photos for so long. Just been kind of putting it off just because I don't really feel like that great about myself and I was trying to wait for that. But since we have the studio space rented, I was like, why not? I literally pulled like 12 different outfits, so I'm not sure if we'll have time for all of them and if I'll even have the energy to do all of them, but I wanted to just bring them in case I do. Um, and I know I've been like really, really needing these photos for stuff like media kits and just the social profiles. I feel like I use those same pictures for years as my profile picture and banner photos. So it's gonna be good to have like just updated like high quality photos um, and my friend Nagin is gonna come help take photos of me and then I'm gonna take some of her and we're also going home for a week back to Georgia and so I'm gonna get to see my family just do some hometown things eat at my favorite sushi restaurant in Atlanta so if you want to see content in real time you can follow me on Instagram or TikTok both are so underscore gnarly without the G and I will see y'all in the next vlog bye